From Bundjalung Country, this is Sunday Mass with Bishop Greg Homing. of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Let's once again stand in the presence of our God, placing all that we are in all humility before him. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. <coughs> the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for its full and lasting happiness to serve you with constancy, the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Malachi. The day is coming now, burning like a furnace, and all the arrogant and the evildoers will be like stubble. The day that is coming is going to burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, leaving them neither root nor stalk. But you who fear my name, for you, the sun of righteousness, will shine out with healing in its rays. The word of the Lord. The Lord comes to rule, rule the earth with justice. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hills ring out their joy at the presence of the Lord. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. For the Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth he will rule the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. A reading from the second letter of St Paul to the Thessalonians. 
You know how you are supposed to imitate us. Now we were not idle when we were with you, nor did we ever have meals at anyone's table without paying for them. No, we worked night and day, slaving and straining, so as not to be a burden on any of you. This was not because we had no right to be, but in order to make ourselves an example for you to follow. We gave you a rule when we were with you, not to let anyone have food if he refused to do any work. Now we hear that there are some of you who are living in idleness, doing no work themselves, but interfering with everyone else's. In the Lord Jesus Christ, we order and call on people of this kind to go on quietly working and earning the food that they eat. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When some were talking about the temple, remarking how it was adorned with stonework and votive offerings, Jesus said, All these things you are staring at now, the time will come when not a single stone will be left in another. Everything will be destroyed. And they put this question to him. Master, they said, when will this happen? And what sign will there be to this is about to take place? Take care not to be deceived, he said, because many will come using my name and saying, I am he, and the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them, and when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened, for this is something that must happen. But the end is not soon. Then he said to them, Nation will fight against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, plagues, famines, here and there, and there will be fearful sights and great signs from the heaven. But before all this happens, men will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and instruments and bring you before the kings and governors because of my name. And they will be your opportunity to hear witness. Keep this carefully in mind. You are not to prepare for your defence because I myself shall give you all the eloquence and wisdom and none of your opponents will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relations and friends, and some of you will be put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name, but not a hair of your head will be lost. Your endurance will win you your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. When I was in high school, our little family, my father and mother and myself, the family went through financial difficulty, which in fact anyone looking at would have said, that's what are you going to do? It's su such a terrible plight to be in. And yet looking back on it, I always have looked back thinking it's probably the best thing, well one of the best things that ever happened to me, because not having was such an extraordinary gift because I recognised, as my parents recognised, that the most important things in life were the three of us and that was all that mattered. What you didn't have was not an issue. The struggle wasn't an issue. The fact was 
for me, my parents were the most important thing. And for my father, it was my mother and me, and for my mother, it was my father and me. The extraordinary thing that uh, it taught me so many things that I would never have known if I'd only gone through life having things. Today's gospel is one of these powerful gospels that comes towards the end of the church's year when Jesus speaks about all the different things that could happen. And he says this, and we must listen to him very carefully. Take care not to be deceived, because many will come using my name and saying, I am he, and that the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them. We live in a time which is very much like the times that Jesus is talking about, a time when everything seems to be falling apart, a part of history that if, if you had been alive in one of the wars, you lived in one of the most difficult periods. And for most of us, whose life is mainly post-Second World War, our lives have been in the time of the lucky country, a country growing, a country blossoming, where as every year's gone on, more and more people have benefited now we're in a position where we seem to be going backwards in a way. We seem to be in a world that it's lost its focus. It seems to be falling apart. Much like the world that Jesus tells us about, everything is collapsing. Well, let's see what he tells us to do. Do not pay any attention to this, but focus on me. It's a very interesting thing. Much like what I learnt as a teenager growing up, all of the things that were happening to us didn't matter because we had each other. And in today's Gospel, I suspect Jesus is really saying to us, yes, see what's happening in the world, but don't look at it. Don't focus on it. Why get overwhelmed by something about which you can do nothing? Focus rather on what you can do something about. Focus where you can love. Not focus on things which seem to be tearing you apart. So what should we look at in this difficult, calamitous time? We should look at each other. We should look at the people we love and grow in love. And more importantly, in the midst of a circumstance about which we can find nothing to do, we should find God. We should look at Jesus Christ because he alone provides the way through this. The temptation is to be overwhelmed by the problem. And when we focus on the problem, not on what love is about, we will go astray, we'll lose our way, we will be overwhelmed. We won't be able to live. But if we focus on love, people that we can love and upon Jesus Christ everything that happens passes and you will find that the greater the difficulty the greater is the personal transformation the greater the difficulty the more you learn the greater the difficulty the more love becomes a reality in your life And let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With our eyes on the God who loves us, let us bring our prayers to him. that the Pope and bishops will continue to proclaim the one Redeemer 
in the face of contradiction and opposition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the suffering caused by war and terrorism may be ended by courageous, just people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the unemployed may find gainful employment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That in a world of turmoil, we may witness to the good news that Christ is coming again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That all who are sick and bereaved may receive healing and acceptance through Christ and the intercession of St Mary of the Cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That Jesus, the Son of Righteousness, will shine with healing rays on those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so, you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that we might love you, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy. <clears throat> Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Teresa, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world and receive us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and receive us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and receive us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. My roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
and let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Create a new heart, Holy Lord, beckon our lives to your word. Open our eyes to your call, united as one, for your world. Tighten our minds to your thoughts, heal us of pride and of Thank mm -hmm. you.